My name is Vashti Harrison. I'm an author and an illustrator and a filmmaker. Um, although author and illustrator is a new title for me. Um, I have my background in filmmaking. I was getting my degree in, at um, California Institute of the Arts. I was getting my MFA in film. And that school is really, really famous for not its film program, but its animation program. It was started by Walt Disney. Um, so while I was there and paying lots of money, I decided, well, it would be really smart to take some illustration classes. Um, and I really loved drawing as a child, but I had stopped um, while I made movies. Um, so while I was there, I took those classes and I realized, wow, if you don't practice for many years, you're not going to be very good. So I was just uh, really in love with drawing again, but I was so infuriated that I wasn't very good that I made it a part of my daily practice to just draw every single day. Meanwhile, I still continued my film career. I was showing films at film festivals. I got a job working in TV, um, and I thought that this will be great. I'll have a day job, I'll work on this TV show, and I'll go home and work on my films at night. And what actually happened was I was working on drawings at night because I was just so in love with doing this again. I just wanted to get better. I knew that if I kept practicing, it would be I would get better and better. Um, then when that show got canceled. Um, I had to figure out what to do next. I ended up having to move back home with my parents in our really small town in only Virginia. And around that time, I actually got my first illustration commission. I had been posting my work on social media, and the, the amazing thing was the folks on social media didn't realize that I thought I was an amateur. They just treated me like I was a professional, and they were like, they wanted to pay me to draw, and so I was just really excited about it, and I just um, started doing those. As I was applying for other jobs, I got more and more interested in the idea of trying to make illustration a real career for me. So around April 2016, I went full steam. I officially moved home with my parents. I stopped looking for other work, and I tried to make illustration my career. I joined this organization, the SCPWI, the Society of Children's Books Writers and Illustrators, and they are the ones that kind of uh, provided the platform for, for which I could get into the publishing industry and meet the right people and it was almost immediately that um, I submitted my work to one of their co uh, competitions. It won and my drawing got placed in one of their monthly emails and a day later uh, I got an offer to illustrate a picture book and I was like whoa 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 this is happening way too fast I can't handle this but I didn't have a choice I was like I this is what I wanted I'm going to try to work as hard as I can to do this a couple months later I went to one of their conferences and met my agent and a month after that I moved to New York City um, and then in February 2017 I was really looking for a way to just continue this daily practice of drawing and I decided to create a drawing challenge for myself kind of like in the vein of Inktober and Mermay I decided I'm gonna draw a black woman every day for the month of Black History Month 2017 and just post that illustration and, and post a short bio on social media and it was kind of immediately that I knew People were really excited about it, and I was really excited about it. I was like overwhelmed with the stories and this kind of personal connection I had to these women um, that I wrote to my agent a couple of days in and asked her if she thought there was a potential for a book there. And she wrote back, yeah, I was going to ask you what you thought. Um, we submitted the idea to a couple publishers, and before the month was over, I had a three-book deal at Little Brown Books for Young Readers. And they were super on board. They totally got the idea, and and they wanted, like I did, for the book to be out by Black History Month this year, 2018. So I worked nonstop from March until September to finish all the writing, the research, and illustration. And it came out December 5th. 2017 and it debuted on the New York Times and now it's just gone so much bigger than I ever could have imagined um, but I'm very very excited to be where I am and hopefully have the opportunity to create more books and keep drawing.